have a great meditation leader uh, this morning, uh, Sister Saraswati. Uh, please lead us and guide us in, in our meditation today. Thank you. Morning, family. Um, I thought I would start out this morning with a little bit of a just mini reminder of the reason for meditation. Um, it occurs to me that um, we'll say is so wonderful to provide this opportunity for us to come together every Sunday morning, but I think it's also important that we be reminded of the reason that we do it. Yes, indeed. So the first thing I would think that many people come to meditation for is that they realize that they are going to be able to find some peace, that they're going to be able to settle themselves, and that this, um, this time that you're not moving, that you're not thinking, will give you peace. Another thing, thing I think that people also realize that they may get from meditation is you start to control your thoughts because you're sitting and you're, you know, sort of trying to be focused and you're, you realize your mind is kind of wandering a little bit, but you realize that um, through meditation that you are going to start getting uh, control of your thoughts. I, I am reminded at this point to talk about um, firing of synapses. I hope you'll let me just stretch this a little bit and talk about the energy that is in the brain and in the cells in the body. And so when we talk about this firing of synapses, this energy, this prana, if you will, then we also realize that um, as we start to meditate, we are starting to control energy. And over time, we are able to focus this energy. And so what happens when you focus energy? You get healing. You get willpower when it comes to exercise. You get willpower when it comes to, you know, compulsive movements like eating or anger, all of those kinds of things you start to control when you start con control and regain control of the prana, the energy that is in the body. And these are all fine and powerful reasons for you to meditate and for you to meditate on a daily basis. Because we want this energy, we want this energy for ourselves, but you have to also know that you can also use this energy for healing others as well. And so people in your circle, people that you pray for, they all benefit from the time that you spend in meditation. But I would be remiss if I didn't also say that the yogic goal of meditation is for you to come to understand your inner self. Often, um, you will hear people pray and talk about the indweller of all beings. And that is the self that is separate from the mind. This indweller of all being is waiting for you, available to you. But you have to stop the mind from running to have that connection, to have that relationship. And so as we think of the mind, as I often say, as this drunken monkey that is always moving around and thinking about when is she going to stop talking and start the meditation or whatever it is that your mind is thinking during the course of the day when you, you know, you're thinking about something, you head into another room, you started on something else. By the time you get to the room, you forgot what you were going for. It's because the mind is busy all the time. And so meditation helps you settle that down. But settling that down lets you hear that indweller of all beings. And that is the main focus of yoga. So sometimes during the course of the meditation, you hear references to this power, this prana, this energy. And so I just thought it would be really important for us to remember that Minister Makalisi, Sister Rishanda, Brother Nantambu, Minister Imhotep, and myself 
among others who have done meditations here. Those are not just all of them, but all of us have the goal of giving you this, this power, this peace, this strength that is to be for yourself as well as shared with the people around you. We need this energy. We need this control. We need to stop our compulsions. And we also need to come to know our inner true self. And so let us begin with the meditation. This morning, we're going to do um, auto-suggestion. And we're also going to do some tension and relaxation. So I'd like you to get relaxed, comfortable in your seat, focused on my voice. Be good if you could get your feet flat on the ground, some connection with Mother Earth. And let us begin. We're going to start with some tension and relaxation before we do the auto-suggestion. So now let's just make our legs tense, tighten every muscle, tighten every muscle, ankles, feet, legs, tight, 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 and then relax. And we're going to tighten the buttock muscles. Just make those muscles tight, tight, tight. You're actually lifted off the seat. They're so tight. Tight, 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 and then relax. We're gonna make the shoulders and arms tight, tight, tight. Stretch your hands out if you need to. Make balls of your fist tight, 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 and then relax. We're going to squeeze the face like a lemon. Tight, 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 and then relax. We're going to open our eyes, stick our tongue out, and stretch. This is the lion. Tight, 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 pull, and then relax. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. Repeat everything I say internally to yourself. Take your mind to that part of the body, focus on it, and to give this instruction as we begin. My feet are relaxed. Relax and relaxing my feet. My ankles are relaxed. I'm relaxing my ankles. My calves are relaxed. I'm relaxing my calves. My knees. I relax. I'm relaxing my knees. My thighs are relaxed. I'm relaxing my thighs. My hips and buttocks are relaxed. I'm relaxing my hips and buttons. My lower back is relaxed. I'm relaxing my lower back. My upper back is relaxed. I'm relaxing my upper back. My shoulders are relaxed. 
I'm relaxing my shoulder. My hands are relaxed. I'm relaxing my hands. My wrists are relaxed. I'm relaxing my wrists. My forearms are relaxed. I'm relaxing my forearm. My upper arms are relaxed. I'm relaxing my upper arm. My neck is relaxed. I'm relaxing my neck. My face is relaxed. I'm relaxing my face. My jaws are relaxed. I'm relaxing my jaws. My eyes are relaxed. I'm relaxing my eyes. My scalp is relaxed. I'm relaxing my scalp. My upper and lower intestines are relaxed. I'm relaxing my upper and lower intestines. My kidneys are relaxed. I'm relaxing my kidneys. My genitalia is relaxed. I'm relaxing my genitalia. My lungs are relaxed. I'm relaxing my lungs. My heart is relaxed. I'm relaxing my heart. My endocrine system is relaxed. I'm relaxing my endocrine system. My entire body is relaxed. I'm relaxing my entire body. I am not holding anything in place. I am sinking into the seat, into the back of the chair, and letting gravity hold me. And I'm feeling the weight and I am relaxed. And, you know, a lot of times they can end up who's available or games, they're all doing stuff like that. So they can just like, yeah. And now <clears throat> let go of any image and any thought and enjoy the great bliss of this deep conscious relaxation.
Your body is a tool. It is your friend. It is an aid to peace. It is an aid to help. Is it, it, it is an aid to happiness, your body is an aid to joy. You are light. You are one with the universe. Enjoy the peace, happiness, and joy you have. knowing that your core of life is perfect and that your body and mind are healing. knowing that this absolute peace, absolute existence, absolute knowledge is always present and unaffected and observes everything that happens in the body and mind. At any time, you can return to rest. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into surrender. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Oh. 
Slowly bring your awareness to the world around you and feel the joy inside. Feel the prana in your body. Feel the sounds, smells, tastes, and imagine the surrounding space, feeling unity with the universe around you. Slowly move your fingers and toes and gently turn your head from side to side. And when you are ready, open your eyes. Sahana Bhavantu, Sahano Bunatu, Sahadiriam Karabhavai. He just be not a king to master you. Mother, the shabbai. Oh, shanti, shanti, shanti. Beyond.